Hello, welcome to Sharon Nathalie Shoes with Her Excellency Haji Ami. A cabo sorry to Itaye Gidi, Babaren Dunia, Nageskia, Akupon Dunamadu. Real life stories where we tell you the truth and nothing but the truth about true life stories. Where we tell the truth and we're unapologetic about it. Stay tuned and listen to our today's episode. A cabo sorry to Wa. Dori. So itai kitika labarin dunia negaskia aku kondo madu true life story. Hello everyone, welcome to share my pictures with her excellency Hajiani. It's getting cold out here, so we're just celebrating the holiday stroll. And um, I'm sure you'll be like, where have your girl been? She is here, and she will always be here. Inshallah. So today's Iriria Ye Itai Kiki Labarin Dunia Negaskia Akukondu Madu will be about two people who met here in America and um, it's cold out here, I know. <laughs> You're like, what you doing out here? Well, you can always tell our stories everywhere. So today's story will be about a man who got married to this woman and um, they were living as a couple, husband and wife, unknown to her that this guy has been impregnating another woman at work. Each time this woman has been having her babies, the other woman at work too was, you know, giving birth to kids. So, his mother happened to be here with them in America. And each time the mother would go and take the meals in so that the wife would not see it. So, unlucky for him, you know how God does his things. One day, the mother had to travel to Nigeria. So the wife went into the mill and got the meals and that was how she saw that. She was getting meals from the Department of Revenue. So the Department of Revenue, that's where they take out the child support from. And she got curious what that was all about. She opened the mill and surprisingly, the husband was paying child support for three children. Three children that she was not aware of. And they've been married for years. These are people that have been married for a long time. She was shocked. That made her start thinking deep. And she was like, oh no, this is the reason why the mother was always running to the mailbox to get the mail. So, this is it. She confronted her husband and asked him what was going on with that DOR. DOR is not been a family. And um, the husband denied it and said, oh, he did not impregnate anybody. At that point, the wife started digging more. And when she started digging more, she found out that it was not just those kids. There were other kids somewhere else. These are people that are very close. That everybody knew everywhere that were always showcasing love out there. At this point, she did not know what to do. So she she started telling her friends that this is getting crazy. Then she found out that there were other things that she was not aware of because she started scattering the house, checking for things, checking for clues. And that was how she found DNA results that shows that the father was feeding the father to those kids that he was paying the child support to. Imagine that being pregnant at the same time with another Akata outside there. So husband is impregnating you in Naija, her house, and at the same time he's impregnating uh, Akata. When the wife kept complaining, the house was so hot for her, and she kept telling her that, oh, she's just um, lying. She said, immediately I saw that Afoshe, I was scared. But I started praying. That's the thing for the incantation is the Afoshe or whatever she called it. Now, I'm going to 
Okay, it's uh, I think they call it Siri in the house, I'm not sure. So, but it's like voodoo, nah, like juju jazz. She said, Ah, I started wondering what is going on. That what have I done to deserve this? Then I started realizing that I have been thinking that I have been under a spell. Ajia. Like because some things I would not agree to and the next minute I would just see myself agreeing to it. I wouldn't even know how I agreed to it. She said at this point I could not say a word anymore. I started looking for a way out. What I did was grab my children, called a friend, and begged her and told her that we were coming over. That she should not tell anyone they were coming over. I explained everything to her. And when the friend got us in, we started praying together. And when the friend prayed with me, they made us realize that it was not Ojulasan. Ojulasan means it's not just ordinary. That he did not, he has not been living with you ordinarily. That the children that he's having outside too, that there is a reason for that. I said, ha, God, how did I get myself into this mess? And yeah, my body's kept saying, I was told not to worry that I should just keep praying about it that things will get better but I was scared and I didn't know what to do at this point I just hear people talk about jazz I do not believe in jazz Hadja. but here I am inside the mess what do I do? this guy has been using me all my life anything he tells me to do I do he's just like a jibolo I've been married to him you know what a Jigolo is? Jigolo is a guy who relies on a woman who basically is just like a pimp, you know, who is just there to get whatever he can get from the woman and he's just putting his attention in there for her. So people like this don't even really have good intentions or good attention. They just fake things to be with you. She said, but what would I do, Hadjia? I didn't know what to do. I didn't know where to start from. So I just had to start. Okay. <laughs> the children interrupted me, so I had to keep quiet. You know, I don't like talking about adult things where kids are. So basically, people are living with people these days. And you don't know who is who. People marry people these days, and they don't know that it's just with marriage. Hmm. These people have children together, not one, not two, not three. So I don't even know where to where to start from, where to what kind of advice to give us. But this is just so we the okay, so, so, so the next shipment, Toki. You guys know that no one long to the day that you are with the way you have and you are the move up and that. So when next you see somebody and they tell you their story, a lot of people are getting into this thing called marriage these days without even knowing that they are getting married to their users. Because look at this now here. Somebody seeing a for share or whatever she called it. Yeah, uh, the incantation thing. Obviously, it's not natural. You know? She said I was with another person before I married him. I don't know how I left that boyfriend and started going out with him before I married him. She said I was the one that did his papers. That I did not know how I ended up with him. Yeah. So this is it. It's all clear. You know, it's clear after several years. But the thing I don't understand with this frustrated bastards and chikolos is that why would you go to any spiritual thing to get somebody and at the same time be messing around? She stated Hadja, the person that I was supposed to get married to is still not married because he loved me. And I did not know how I 
ended up with this husband of mine or husband as I'll call them but what do I do now it's like my story I told some people they believe me I told some people they were like is this real <laughs> now I'm Shelly there's a lot going on a lot of people may we not be victims and it will back no more sometimes we don't know how things happen, happen. Oh. so just always pray that may Allah not make them succeed may Allah, may Allah not make them come around there's a lot of people that have been into things like this that cannot explain she said when she explained to the ex she told her that he believes her that because he himself knows me or he share any bet of his needed but I know it was not just ordinary that he left him. That's why I knew something was wrong, but I couldn't be pointed from anyone because I don't even know how to explain how he left me. So let me tell you something. When people tell you their story, don't ask them if they didn't pray enough. Don't ask them how they didn't see the red flag. When you get into it, Maybe then you would know that sometimes these things are not just ordinary. He said he took all the things that were in my name that we had in Nigeria and changed everything to his name. All I just see is me signing things, me signing things, and I did not know that he was controlling me spiritually. But now everything is clear. He said I had to pick race for my life and my children's life. She said, but do you see how crazy it is that? You cannot even tell your story sometimes for people to believe it because they think you are crazy. Only the people that really know that you're telling the truth know. And I told her, I said, you don't have to care about who does not believe you. You tell your story and tell, you know, it as it is. I'm glad she's telling her story. She did not have to come out here and say her story. Anyone who wants the story here should send me their stories and we can hear it so that other people can learn from it. It's just all here and I Arikopo. I want you to know that the people that have been victims was a bad or two. I want your group who answer. Your noba push my expose one. But no bad there, ma push them far away. I like being the two rasu far away from it. I'm speaking in the dialect because of the children. It's whatever I'm saying that I don't want them to hear. So Aye, a camera. No, not that. I don't. Come on, Shanua. Who go when he be he? Kyo long, Kushan. Come on, you want you. She said, Now the husband, ever since she found out, could they was his a canyon on Saturday? Would you prefer for Norba? To fix up. Kyo Norba, Wama Tuna, see, Wama Tuas, young. My thing is, if you want to get married to somebody, let it come naturally. Do not manipulate them. Well, down there, Anything that is done is to do. One day, one day, Allah and the Almighty God will expose you. So know that. There is no one that is as wise as the Almighty God. So I want you to do that. So, because sometimes people are always say, aha, they are smart, they got whatever they want. Hmm. Come on, my take long. But it will always come. That would be it. It will always come. With this one now that gave birth with 
children from Akata. She said there's a lot of shit going on that, that I don't want to go into right now. Maybe I'll bring it up in another episode or so. But sometimes we tell you a little bit of the story. So that Ki Oribe came up Yeah, yeah. I wish they showed up. Don't you know what? I'm going to go to the store. 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 I would just always say, pray. Didn't she pray enough? She did pray. But all we would keep saying is, keep praying because probably some might say oh if she had been praying it won't happen why did it take her so many years sometimes god let things happen that way so all i would say is keep saying i'm happy with the god who works with the heart me say all praise be to the almighty god and almighty allah but if they know you it's okay it's better off this way. So I told her, I said, be grateful for whatever you want and don't feel bad. I know sometimes you might be like, how the hell did I make this happen? But don't feel bad about it. Just try and let other people learn from your story. She was almost coming to the show to talk about it, but she broke down and said, I think you can tell my own my story. And I said, I can definitely always use anyone's story. You do not have to come to the club to talk about it. I can always talk about it. So, to you and Nicholas, see, in this case, his mother was a baby, right? She knew about everything going on. Continue. Neil Jokum. No, but our one day, one day, God will come for you. So continue enabling whatever you are enabling, whatever you are going to be. Sometimes you might think they why it was a It's only God that lets that knows why he lets things happen. So I would say if you think you're wise, if you think you're smart, continue being smart. But here we're going to continue saying the truth as it is and we're unapologetic. So get ready because you'll always be here to tell you the truth. I know you guys are always waiting for our Friday stories. However, we're going to take a twist on it. For those of you who have been asking or you've not seen a post, you need to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can get uh, notified whenever something is posted or whenever we are live. Alright? If you do subscribe, you will get all the notifications and click on the notification. For those of you who have been asking that you've not been seeing the show or on, you know, sent to you via WhatsApp, like I said earlier before, that we're not sending it to, we're not sending the link to WhatsApp because you should by now we were sending it to WhatsApp so that people can be aware of the program we felt that enough of people have been aware of the program so you can always share to your family and friends be sure to subscribe and click on the subscription button share to your family and friends so that we can all change the world together always click on the notification button so you can be notified when something is posted or when you're live so with the show, we will continue to be doing our shows and it won't be on Fridays anymore. It can be well, we're on going any on. random time. All right. And you guys can sit on the hay bale if you want to. Okay? Oh, sure. Right. He said you can sit on the hay bale if you want, but <laughs> do you want that? <laughs> okay. So, here we are. So, you know what she saw? Am I bleeping or long? Whoever does not have the fear of God will tarnish something. So know that, okay? Your girl is going on the horse, and I'll be seeing you guys shortly for another episode. So remember, with the share life issues with Her Excellency Hajia Ali Show, now we will be going on. Uh, 
we'll be doing our live shows unannounced so we can just pop in at any time and also we will be sharing videos and uh, educative things so here I am with the wagon we're going now and um, <laughs> snapping the snapper okay all right it's moving there we go so thank you for always watching and thank you for always coming to share life issues with her excellency Haji Ami. so be sure to subscribe like i said earlier on okay and invite your family and friends i do love you and uh, i will see you with our next episode i hope you all have a wonderful day okay today's episode it's a different one and uh, you can always have our episodes everywhere right so remember i do know you would be waiting for our episodes on friday however we can now decide to do the episode All I want for Christmas is them. Questionable. <laughs> 